a few months ago, I was thinking about the types of sensors that I wanted to put in this dog bot, and I had an idea. Wouldn't it be cool if the dog bot was able to monitor how much power it was using? And with that data, we would be able to see how efficient each step was. I'm, I'm talking about extremely granular monitoring of power consumption. So I looked into sensors and I found this current monitor. This is a Palalu ACS714 current sensor. Basically, when no current is going through these leads, we should get around two and a half volts coming out of the output pin. When, however, an amp is going through these leads, we should get around 2.75 volts coming off of the output pin. Now, I've never used these sensors before. And like everything I'm unfamiliar with, the first thing I like to do is a proof of concept. So this is what I have here. I have a dogbot leg that's wired to our Arduino, and it's powered by this LiPo battery. And the LiPo battery is running through our current monitor, or our current sensor. And what we have here is the output. So I'm going to plug in the battery and see what kind of data we're, we're getting off of this sensor. So it's pretty flat when the leg is not moving. And when the leg's not moving, no power is going to it. When it's moving, we're getting a lot of noise. So maybe there's a way to link this, this noise, the, the analog value that I'm reading from this current sensor. Maybe there's a way to link that analog noise to the amount of current that's being used. So that was my hope. And then on accident, I did this. Let me show you. So I just unplugged this sensor. I unplugged the whole, the whole mechanism. And if I move this sensor, see that? Let me do it again. So basically this sensor is useless to me because if I move the sensor, I get extreme values. And if this the sensor is going to be on the dog bot, it's going to be moving constantly. So I'm not going to be using this Palalu ACS714. If you've ever monitored power consumption before and have some pointers for me, shoot them over. And I'll just keep thinking about this problem. I'll see you next time.